Hello, Facebook family. Gino Rivera here with the Guadalupe Cultural Arts Center and Mariachi Azteca de America. And just coming with you today just to talk about um, any questions and some beginner tips your uh, children, your students may have. Uh, I don't know if you can hear me, but um, of course, having some technical difficulties. Uh, I can't see the screen, so give me one second. Let me adjust this. So I was asked whose guitar that is. Well, the guitar is a brand new guitar, Vince, that uh, I got from my good friend from California. And it's a, it's a Seriana guitar. Let's see how that works. So it's, Musicians out there. So, if you have any and teachers, if you have any students, uh, tune in on Fridays at 11 o'clock. And um, if you have any questions on certain songs or, or certain uh, just on your instrument, basic chords and theory, and on violin, trumpet, guitar, vihuela, I'd be more than happy to help you if I can. If not, I'd love to point you in the right direction. Um, also tuned to my brother right there, Vince Pequeño, who's also giving some classes. Vince was actually uh, uh, one of my students there at the Guadalupe Center when he was in middle school. And now uh, he's gone over and beyond and done great things. Uh, also, my, my sister's watching. She used to play too when she was younger. Um, who else we got there? Anyone else? Belinda, awesome job the other day. Belinda Menchaca, part of the Guadalupe Cultural Arts Center. Awesome job with, uh, with your lesson online. And so basically guys, we're here, so uh, also promoting our classes. We have online classes at the uh, Guadalupe Cultural Arts Center. So if you're interested, go to our website, guadalupeculturalarts.org. You can find more info there. Uh, we have uh, Mr. Robert Casillas teaching accordion and bajo sexto. We have myself teaching the majority of the mariachi instruments, a vocal class, piano class, and then Miss Belinda Menchaca and about uh, Jeanette, Jeanette Chavez and around five other dance instructors teaching dance online. So um, we'd love to see you there. We'd love to see you online and just be a part of the Guadalupe Cultural Arts Center. So just gonna get started very quickly, just on guitar. Um, I, it's it's for the, the beginner student of course we go over the strings always have a tuner ready I know you can't see it too well but it's a panel tuner okay like something like this it's a free app online there's a thousand apps you can find but you just want to you want something to always tune your instrument uh, especially if it's a new instrument okay so we're gonna start from the bottom on guitar. We're gonna start from string number one. String number one. I know we get, a, we get an instrument for the first time and many think that this is the first string, right? Because it's at the top. It's actually this one. It's the finished string. It's the highest pitch string. It's the E string, okay? So this is string number one. It's E. Then we go on to string number two, which is B. Then we go to string number three, Okay, which is G. String number four is D. String number five is A. String number six is E. Okay, so E, B, G, D, That's why a tuner is always great to have by your side, okay? So, 
these guitars, it's a mariachi guitar. Um, the price range, they vary, but um, you can find some at Alamo Music, which are Yamaha guitars. Alamo helps us out. Uh, they give great discounts to the Guadalupe Cultural Arts Center. And also you can find uh, your instruments at Mariachi Connection. Um, or you can ask around to some of their teachers. And uh, you can ask me as well, um, Mr. Vince Pequeño that's on there. Ask a couple of our friends. And sometimes you can find some great instruments that are either been, uh, uh, you know, they're used instruments, but they've been well taken care of and you can uh, purchase them as well, all right? So again, we're gonna start regular scale and we call it just the one, four, five scale. So in our, in our scale that we have, in our scale, in our musical alphabet, if we don't know our musical alphabet, it's from A through G. So A, B, C, D, E, F, G. Okay, and then, then it stops there. And then what we do, it, it repeats, it goes in a circle. So I'm sure most of you beginner students have heard the circle of fifths or um, a scale, uh, eight steps, eight degrees. Well, that's what it is. It starts on, on, on A and it goes to G and it just keeps going all over again, all right? So if you start on B, you go all the way to B till you get back to B. You start on C, you go all the way until you get back to C, all right? So our, our basic scale, our one, four, five scale, we're gonna start in key of D, okay? And again, this is for a beginner guitar player. You probably already know these chords. If you don't, okay, if you don't, first finger is in this second box, what we call fret, right? So first finger is on the third string up. One, two, three. Second finger is on the first string, okay? We're still in the same box, box two, box two, fret two, okay? And our ring finger, our third finger, goes on fret three, string two, okay? So one, two, and three. And that's a D major chord. D major chord, okay? So we're starting in D. So D is, trying to figure this out because of the camera view, so maybe it works better this way. If D is one, then two is E, three is F, four is D, E, F, G, five is A, six is B, seven is C, and then we end on D, okay? D, E, F, G, A, B, C, D, all right? I'm trying to read some of these comments here. All right, what's up, Chris? Chris Villanueva, one of the best pianists here and, and arrangers here in San Antonio. Uh, so we have those eight steps there, right? Okay, those eight degrees. So we're starting with one, which is D. Now we're gonna learn the fifth degree, which is the second most important chord. Okay, second most important chord in your scale. So first one is your one. Okay, that's the foundation, that's the, the, the key you're in. And then the fifth one, Okay, that's the second most important one. So D, E, F, G, A. So now we're gonna go to this one. So we learned one, and now we're gonna go to A. We call this A7, okay? So when you're playing D, these two fingers right here, they're already, that's already an A7 chord. So you already have it made, you just have to lift them up one string each, okay? So here's D, and then a7, you move first finger up a string, and then you move second finger up a string, all right? So D, A7, D, A7. I like starting beginner guitar players off with D chord because it's easier to, to, to move, maneuver and to learn two chords very quickly, okay? So you have D chord, then we go to A7 chord, all right? D chord, A7 chord. Okay, so D chord is the one chord, A7 is the fifth chord, second most important chord, right? Now we're gonna go to the third most important chord. Now just because it's the third most important chord, that doesn't mean it's one, two, three. It doesn't mean it's D, E, F. It's actually D, first most important, A7, second most important, and G chord, okay? G chord. So that's what we call it, one, 
four, and five. Okay, one, four, and five. All right, D, G chord, and A7. Okay? Now, in order of importance, in order of strength, it'd be your one chord, it'd be your five chord, A7, and then it'd be your four chord, G chord. All right? So, the G chord is next. So, we went from D to A7, and now we're going to go to G chord. Now, this one has a little stretch. Um, in all the keys, you're going to have a stretch that you have to get used to with the fingers. You have to adjust. But with D scale, you have two chords that are fairly easy to maneuver and to accomplish right off the bat. Okay? So that's, that's why I like those two. So to accomplish a G chord, we're going to put our middle finger on the top string, string six, right? Middle finger, string six, fret one, two, three, fret three. Okay, everybody see that, right? First finger, right underneath it, it's gonna actually fall naturally. It'll just naturally fall there. It's not right underneath it like this. It's right underneath it where it naturally falls, but it's in the second fret and on the fifth string. Okay, I'll go through that again. One, two, three, four, five, six string, third fret, middle finger, first finger, second fret, fifth string, and third finger, the ring finger is going to be at the very bottom, same fret as, our, as what we placed the top finger here, same fret, same note actually. Okay. So you have those three, all right? So that's a G chord. I don't know if you can see that one. Get it from different angles. Here's this one. Middle finger, ring finger, and index finger. Okay? So those are our three chords in the key of D. So D, A7, G, right? So. Now we're going to place them in order, but now that you understand these chords, you want to just practice. Don't even worry about strumming yet. Just practice moving the chords. D, A7, D, A7, D. Find which chord is easier for you and move from that chord. Let's say A7 is easy for you, all right? So from A7, then move to D. A7, move to D. Maybe that's not reasonable for you, comfortable, so then move A7 to G, all right? A7, G, A7, G. That's gonna be a tough one for, for most people, but if you got it, you got it, right? A7, G, A7, G. And just practice moving. It's gonna take some time for your fingers to adjust, okay? You're not used to playing this. If it's your first time playing, it's, it's gonna take some time, okay? So the idea is you wanna move freely without having to look. One of the, one of the, uh, one of the most difficult things in starting to play is you play, you learn the chord, and we, you're, you're gonna, you tend to do this, to look over and lean. We don't want to do that, okay? We want to move smoothly. So I ask you and I, and I uh, recommend to try to learn the chord and try not to look at your hand and just navigate through the guitar, through the fingerboard, through the fretboard as best as possible, okay? So if you're playing D chord and you need to go to an A7, remember the A7's already there, just lift these two up. You lift those two up, okay? Then you bring them back down to go back to D. So those two fingers are already within that chord. Another tip is never lift your fingers. When you're moving from D and you're going to the next chord, don't take your hand off and look. If you have to look over, if you must look over, if you must lean over, please do not lift your hands up. Just crawl to the next chord, okay? You wanna make sure that the guitar isn't like this, because that just makes this more difficult, right? That makes you do this and just that's abnormal. You, you're gonna hurt yourself. It's gonna be very uncomfortable playing. So you wanna make sure the guitar is either sitting on your left leg, you can sit, you can place it on the right leg, but you'd like, if you are, you want this bottom dot right here, you want this to stay on the thigh, okay? You see how it makes it 
more natural. It's almost like a dancing position. It's very easy, easily to navigate, very comfortable to navigate through the fingerboard. Okay, we don't want this, and you don't want this. Okay, and sometimes it can sit, which is more of a classical way, in between your legs are here, right? Just like that. Okay. So. I'm sitting this way because I fit in my camera and I can see what I'm doing. So we work on D, A7, and G, right? In mariachi, primera, segunda y tercera. Okay, segunda de re. And I know I'm going a little bit fast, but most of, some of this stuff you can find on our classes. You can just tune in or sign up for our classes online. Very affordable classes, guys. Um, I, I believe our price is $45 a month and you get online instruction and it's it's at least an hour of video a week plus uh, music PDFs and one-on-one -on -one instruction as well. You, you're able to submit your videos online um, and we can give you feedback on that as well. And you also get guest instruction from Mariachi Azteca de America musicians and other musicians throughout San Antonio that, that we will be inviting just like Mr. Vicente Pequeño right there that, that tuned in earlier. Um, he'll be one of our guest musicians as well. So going back, Re, D. A7, you'll hear Segunda de Re, or you hear La Septima or La Siete, okay? G, Sol, Tercera, Sol mayor. Okay. Now the order of this, there, there, there's an order of, uh, of the one, four, five scale that we play. But just to start off, to strum this, strum D, strum A7, and strum G. Okay. You want to check every string on every chord that you play, because if you're not pressing with the fingertips, it's going to sound like this. Just the curve of the fingertips, big difference. If I'm playing with the pads of my finger, it doesn't sound the same. The second I roll my fingers and I play with the fingertips, okay, and we'll get into strumming later, but just make sure you can hear all the strings. Go to D chord, check the same thing. Don't allow them to touch the other string. See, that doesn't sound good, right? So you just want to make sure also in the back, your thumb placement, okay? Everybody's hand is different. But if you're, if you're, first, if you're starting off and your hand is flat or you're not utilizing your thumb for a pivot or pressure, okay? We're not going to we're not going to help our fingertips at all uh, attain that pressure or attain that sound that we need. Okay, so if you notice my thumb when I'm playing D chord, there it is. When I'm playing B chord, it's here. Okay, as you get more advanced and you get more comfortable and you already know how to play your instrument, that may change. It may change, but for now, the back of the thumb. On the back of the guitar, the neck of the guitar, right behind the fingerboard, you need to utilize that thumb, okay? Um, I've seen some students who, they don't even use it at all, the thumb is over here, and they can't get any sound because you're barely touching, you're barely putting, you're not putting enough pressure up against the guitar, all right? So make sure to clamp, use that thumb, okay? <laughs> So that was D chord, A7, and G. All right. Any questions? I um, just want to say hello to everybody. I might have missed some of you. Miss Connie, the family's on there. Miss uh, my prima Sandra. Let's see who else is on there. Mr. Zamaripla from Fox Tech High School. Go Fox Tech Buffaloes. Awesome mariachi program there. 
huge program, always doing great things. Keep it up, sir. Thanks for tuning in. Please share with your students. And also, if there are any requests, anything uh, in particular, you can reach me here on Facebook um, or email me, uh, Gino R at Guadalupe Cultural Arts .org. You can also visit our mariachi webpage and our, our Facebook, Azteca de America. And um, just stay connected, guys. We hope everybody is doing well and we hope your families are well and healthy and, and just, you know, enjoy this time together. Um, we know that it's, it's a little, you know, it's, it's, it's out of the norm and it's, it's changed our, our schedules and we're adapting, everybody's adapting, but you know what? It's also a blessing that we're able to spend more time together with everyone. And I think, it, uh, I think it's a good thing. So um, everybody just stay blessed, tune into the Guadalupe page, uh, every now, now and then, if you can, uh, like us, share us, like Mariachi Azteca de America as well. And um, I'll be here for you next Friday. And stay tuned for Mr. Robert Casillas, I believe around 1 o'clock. He'll be here giving a similar lesson on accordion or bajo sexto. So he's also a teacher there at the Guadalupe Cultural Arts Center and also have classes online. Thank you very much, guys. Have a blessed day. Thank you.